Ghostbusters Frozen Empire In July 1904, the New York City Fire Department found a shocking scene at a men's club. Over 30 people were found frozen, with a strange song playing from a record player. There was one person who survived, a woman wearing armor and holding a mysterious ball. But no one could figure out her story. Moving to today, Callie Spengler, her partner Gary Gruberson, and her kids, Trevor and Phoebe, live in the old New York firehouse. They work with Trevor and Phoebe's friends, Lucky Domingo and Podcast, and the experienced Ghostbusters Winston Zeddemore and Ray Stance. After they meet a dragon in the Hell's Kitchen sewers, they face a lot of trouble from Mayor Walter Peck, who doesn't like the Ghostbusters. To avoid problems with Mayor Peck, Callie decides to stop Phoebe from going on ghost-catching missions until she is older. Feeling upset, Phoebe goes to a park to play chess. There, she meets Melody, a ghost of a girl who died in a fire with her family when she was 16. While checking out a collection of spooky items at Ray's occult books, something big happens with an orb that Ray got from a customer. Nadim Razmadi, this orb, which used to belong to Nadim's grandmother, becomes very important when Ray tries to check its ghostly energy levels. This accidentally causes a big energy wave, damaging the area around the ghost-catching unit at the firehouse, which is already almost too full, a risky situation. To deal with this problem, Winston and Lucky introduce the Spenglers to the Paranormal Research Center, a place run by Winston with private money. There, Dr. Lars Pinfield uses new tech, inspired by Egon Spengler's original ghost-catching methods, to try to pull ghost energy out of the orb. But even with this new tech, Dr. Pinfield can't get any ghost energy from the orb, which means there's something especially tricky about it. The search for answers gets deeper as Trevor, Pinfield, and Lucky go to see Nadim Razmadi to learn more about where the orb came from. They find a hidden room with walls lined with brass, where Nadim's grandmother kept the orb safe. This find leads to more questions about what the orb really is and its history. Adding to the mystery, a special test done by Peter Venkman shows that Nadim has hidden fire-making powers. This new information suggests there might be a link between Nadim's special skills and the strange qualities of the orb. A complex search happens at the New York Firehouse, where Melody, a ghost, secretly visits, especially interested in the ghost-catching unit. Even though she seems to know what it's for, Melody actually has a secret plan to get inside the firehouse's protection for a bad force stuck in the orb, pretending to be close to Phoebe for this reason. The story gets more complicated when Ray, Phoebe, and Podcast talk to Dr. Hubert Wartsky at the New York Public Library to understand the orb better. Dr. Wartsky explains that the orb is actually a jail for Garaka, a demon god who wants to control their world by making spirits do what he wants and can make it very cold using negative feelings from people. This shows Garaka was part of a huge fight thousands of years ago. Back then, magic users called Firemasters, who knew Garaka was weak against fire and brass, trapped him. But Garaka almost got free in 1904 through the Manhattan Adventurers Society, which caused a lot of trouble. The search finds out that Nadim's grandmother, who came from a family of magic users called Firemasters, played a key part in capturing Garaka again. This moment was recorded on a phonograph, but things get really intense when a ghost, known as Possessor, tries to take this recording. In the chaos, Phoebe decides to break the recording, a choice that goes against the Ghostbusters rules. Because of this, Mayor Peck gets very upset, closes the firehouse, takes away their ghost-catching gear, and gets Phoebe in trouble for not following the rules. This makes things even harder for the Ghostbusters as they face big challenges from people in charge, right when they're about to face a huge battle with powerful ghost forces. Breaking the rules, Phoebe sneaks out of her house because she really wants to meet Melody again. Their meeting quickly turns into a secret mission as they sneak into the Paranormal Research Center. There, Phoebe uses a special machine that briefly turns her into a ghost so she can really meet Melody. But during this ghostly meeting, Phoebe learns a scary truth. Melody has made a deal with the evil Garaka to help him escape so she can go to the afterlife. Under Garaka's bad influence, Phoebe without realizing helps him get free by saying a special chant. This causes Garaka to attack the city with extreme cold. 
His real plan is to use the ghosts in the ghost catching unit to create an army of ghosts he can control. To stop this big threat, the Ghostbusters come together, ready with new and improved ghost catching gear. At the same time, Nadim decides to follow his family's footsteps. He wears his grandmother's brass armor and tries to use his fire making powers to fight against Garaka's attack. When Garaka arrives, he is very strong, beating the Ghostbusters and breaking the ghost catching unit which lets all the captured ghosts go free. At a very important moment, Phoebe changes her ghost-catching backpack to work like brass, which makes it work against Garaka. Even though she tries really hard, Garaka is still too strong, until Melody steps in to help. Melody, upset by Garaka breaking their deal, lights a match. This action gives Nadim a boost, helping Phoebe in her fight against Garaka. Ray uses this chance to send Garaka away for good, using pieces of the broken ghost catching unit. In this big final fight, something unexpected happens, allowing Melody to peacefully move on to the afterlife. She says a touching goodbye to Phoebe. After the fight and the city is safe from the cold danger, people celebrate the Ghostbusters as heroes. Even though Mayor Peck didn't like them much, he ends up supporting the Ghostbusters because of some smart pressure, and Phoebe is allowed to join in their missions again. The story ends with the Ghostbusters ready to catch the ghosts that got away, like the Sewer Dragon, Slimer, and the Mini Puffs. This wraps up Ghostbusters Frozen Empire with hints at more ghost catching adventures. Thanks for watching.